All right, I'm back with another box video. Now we're gonna do one of the best ones, the 8-bit do USB wireless adapter 2 for these devices. Yep, it's pretty good. So many compatibilities, and the Xbox Series finally got an update. But the Xbox One S is Bluetooth. You gotta watch out. So we're just opening up, and I have a condition. The switch says you, the thing says you gotta put put it to the pro wire communication. Yeah, no, all the controllers they recommend, even their their own officials. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Now you gotta. Now all you got to do is you plug it in. Right, so on top, but you have to make sure it needs a pro wire communication on. So look at this. I turn it on. See now it's on. So now this thing. Ugh, sorry, getting real dent. This will be plugged over here. Now we press the sync button. But what button doesn't want to sync? Well, let's just say I want to use a Wii controller. Because I have only one. Semi, this is a. And if you. Now I'll just put the Wii remote and the two side by side. As you see, it's now officially paired. It's player two. Now for update, we're gonna test each controller. So look up. This is A, it's gonna be A. This is B, but it's X. No analog. So the D-pad is now an analog. Y and B. <laughs> now with the knuckle attached, it's gonna be different. So the D-pad will be back to as the analog. Z is R. No, Z is L. This is R. The cap the C button. This is R. And you know, it works as reflections. Now we're going to test with the analog function. Now, with the Wii Remote on side. See, now we'll smash. Ultimate as an update. It works functionally. That's all for its user of fun. What about the classic controllers in the SNES Classics? Well, they all work, functionally. Of course, all buttons have to be the right. And this to work good. Good. There you go. Now you can see that it works as a controller should. So all the tests will be fine. Uh, right there, we're gonna test some calibration control with the sticks. <laughs> Two up. 
All queer. Well, guys, that's pretty much it for the Wii Classic Controller and the Wii Remote with the 8-bit doll adapter, too. Hope you guys enjoyed this video.